One of my favorite programs that never really went anywhere was the Gemini Regalo Wing. This was a plan to land the Gemini spacecraft on a runway using a two-lobed sail. And one of the things I love most about this story is the fact that Milt Thompson, who at the time was a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base, he heard about it and he just was so fascinated by how this thing would be to fly that he started building it himself. He literally like found little bits and pieces of metal lying around the base that he could fashion into like a sort of tricycle with wings thing. Once Edwards figured out what he was doing, they didn't want him to die by his own hand, so they sanctioned a small program, gave him some money, and he built this. This is the Paraglider Research Vehicle, or the Parasev. And I love this footage because this is like what 1960s, late 1950s, early 1960s engineering was. Like, you have an idea, you understand the theory, you think you get it, so let's build it and find out how it works. This is just like an open tricycle vehicle with the same wing that the Gemini Regala would have, except that that one would inflate during descent, and this one was obviously just kind of static. The early tow tests were behind a muscle car, and then they ended up towing it behind a plane to see how it would fly. Only a handful of people ever flew it, including astronaut Gus Grissom, and it was actually a good enough test vehicle to kind of teach astronauts and pilots how this thing would work. The program just was not feasible for the pace of the Gemini program when it was, you know, a big part of Apollo. And for people who are mad at the way I'm pronouncing Gemini, um, I have a tattoo of the Gemini Regalo wing. Um, I promise you I know how to pronounce Gemini when we're discussing the spaceflight program.